Salam, guten tag, konnichiwa. How is everyone doing today? Uh, we're coming back with our third installment of the unboxing of the Rainbow Six Siege board game. Uh, today we're looking at the expansion packs. Now, I haven't actually opened these yet. I will admit I have removed the saran wrap around each box just to make this a little bit quicker for you guys. Uh, and, but I have not actually looked inside the boxes. Now, we're going to do this in order. Uh, we're going to start with year one, okay, and of course we've got all the operators on the front, Buck, Blackbeard, Capital, Habana, Frost, Valkyrie, Cav, and Echo. Uh, we go down the side, we've got Echo on one side, we've got Cav, Habana, and then over here we have Blackbeard, Capital, and Cavi. Okay, and on the back... Okay, year one, telling us what our contents are, which the operators are. Expansion adds eight new operators with miniature profiles, their link tokens, and components. Okay, so it tells who they are. Uh, even more tactical opportunities from Val's black eye cameras to Habana's X Kiro rounds. You'll find many ways to build your squad. Requires the core box. We do have the core box. So let's kind of get into this here a little bit. I'm going to move the camera down a little bit. Make this camera a little bit better to... There, how about that? Oh, I think that's going to do us much better. Okay. If I break into the box. Okay, we have our introduction sheet telling us we've got the hidden operator tokens. We have the eight named entry overwatch tokens, the special gadgets, the black eye cameras, and three special gadget tokens hold ceilings. Okay. Two fire overlay spaces, just like the ones we had in the base game. Operator profile and the, uh, all, well, we have operator profile and miniature for the alternative version of Hibana. Uh, this is the one that's going to look just like the poster we looked at before in the last video. Okay, comes with the leaf, this leaflet that we've got here. Eight operator profiles, eight operator miniatures, and their eight base rings. Okay, of course we do have, this is, I mean, hard to see, stickers here that we put on the bases and the, what goes on the camera overlays. Again, just like we talked about before, the entryway overwatches, their overhead windows, okay. Getting into our cards here, we've got Frost, okay. So she's got close in, one yellow, one orange, one red. Out is two yellow, two red, oh. You know, two red, and then far out is two yellow and one red. Her, her welcome mats, you know about her mats in the game. After entering a space adjacent to an obstacle, an opposing operator sustains two hits. The opposing operator may spend an extra action to ignore the effect. Okay, she's got a two speed and five armor. We have Buck. The Buck here is close in, one yellow, one orange, two red. Go out to mid range, one yellow, two red, and distance is two red. So he's doing well. He, he, he does, even from a diff, da, from distance, he's going to do a lot of damage. Okay, line of sight or vertical. Place a hold ceiling token in the target of space. The target of space must be free. Spaces containing hold ceiling tokens are treated as entry spaces. Entry overwatch tokens can be placed on them, but operators cannot use them to move, uh, move to and from their upper floor position. Hold ceiling tokens are not gadgets and are indestructible. So it's kind of like real life. If there's a hole, you can't. Especially if you're in a combat, you're not going to be able to fix that. Again, he's a 2 speed, 5 damage. Okay. Uh, we've got Blackbeard. 
Okay, you can kind of see what he's got up here. One orange, one red. One orange, two red. Distance, one yellow, one orange, and two red. So Blackbeard is actually, he can throw some damage at you at a distance. Uh, ignores his, re he's got a reaction with his rifle shield. Blackbeard ignores two hits when targeted by shot. So if he's shot at, first two, two hits don't count. Okay, but that's two for the game. That's not, he's also got two shields. He can replace a shield and do that twice. Okay, two speed, five damage. We get into Capital. Okay, operators and spaces containing a fire overlay immediately sustain an orange damage. Whenever an operator enters a space containing a fire overlay or ends an action in one, they sustain an orange damage. Okay. Five speed. So he with this, uh, unlike the, uh, well, similar to the game, the higher the number, the faster they can move. Okay, so he can move like five boxes at a time on the map. Okay, Hibana. Uh, she has a throwable, performs a destroy action uh, against or in a targeted space. Familiar with the game, she actually can take out hard walls that no one else can break through. Five speed, four up there. Uh, her damage, she does two yellow and an orange close in. Two orange, two red, medium. And then one orange, one yellow, and one red for far distance. Habana. This is Habana's typical, not her alternate one. This is her main one that they came with. Okay. Two orange, two red, four close in, medium, two yellow, two orange, and distance, one yellow, one orange. So she's not the greatest from a distance. She does better close in. Okay. Perform a destroy action on the targeted space. Okay, so we've got, uh, it's her alternative. So we've got, it's the same, everything is the same, just the artwork on Habana is different. Her normal skin, as we call it in the game, and then her alternative skin. Okay. Uh, more, we've got Valk here. Okay, with Valk, she's got two yellow, two red, close in, medium, three yellow, one red, far out, two yellow, one red. Okay, her black eye camera is set up. So during the setup phase of the game, before we're even playing, uh, place a maximum of one black eye camera on a section of heavy wall. So she, unlike the game where she, they've got several here, she's getting one on a heavy wall during setup. Then she's got throwable. Place a black eye camera in a section of heavy wall in the targeted space. All opposing operators in the room containing targeted space receive a, p a red ping. That in the game means we know exactly where they're at. Black eye cameras behave like standard cameras. They can be destroyed. She is a two speed, so she's a bit slower. And she is a five armor. Cavi. Okay, she's close in. Two orange and two red. Medium, three yellow, one red. And distance is three yellow. I mean, in the game, she's a roamer. Send her out. That's why she's a bit faster. She's a, down here, you can see she's a five speed runner. Uh, she destroys yellow things. She's a four armor. Whenever Cav eliminates an opposing camp operator, all remaining oper opposing operators receive a ping. Just like in the game, because we call that one a uh, an interrogation in the game, the video game, and you're telling you're telling Cavi where all of your friends are at in the game, and that changes quick because once you move off of that, then she doesn't know where you're at. Okay, silent step from your upper floor area. Perform a shoot action, short range light pr a protection targeting a located operator in the opposing upper floor area. Okay. 
and we have echo. Close in is two red, medium, one yellow, two red, and distance seven plus is one yellow, one orange, and one red. Does not indicate a run speed, so that, uh, that one, I gotta research that one. Has a six armor though. Uh, his ability, Yukai Ultrasonic Drones. On completing the scan, all opposing located operators in the scanned area receives a yellow ping. Okay. Now, just kind of getting into this. Getting down. Like I said, I replaced or removed the saran wrap that I hadn't opened it up yet. Proof there with the tape on it. Okay, so in here we have, there's Habana with the alternate, I actually might show better in there. Habana with the alternate um, skin. Crossbow, so we got Capitao here. I got to look. That might be. Oh, that's that's Buck. And we got Buck there. There is the normal Hibana. And on this last one up here, our last attack, you have Blackbeard. And we get down here. We have Valk. Got her standard pose. Okay, um, a guy. Oh, Echo. I have to have a look at his device on the back. So we have Echo. Of course, this one you can already tell. This one's going to be Cavi. And then, of course, our last one that we have is Frost. Now, looking at some of their devices in here, those are just the stands. Uh, that would be. The black eye, the little orange one in here is the black eye for, um, for Val, and then more of the flames. Okay. So that, that gives us, that's year one. Okay. Put all of year one back in here. We'll move on to year two. Okay, so year two. I'll show you the box here. Uh, Jackal, Ying, Sophia, Dokabi, Mira, Legion, Ella, and Vigil. We got Dokabi on one side. Ying. Legion, Ella, and Vigil, and Ella there. Okay, so just like before, we have our packet. We have the stickers. All of these are just base stickers. We have the usual cardboard. We do have our, our player tokens. I'm not going to go through all of these this time around. I will point out the, the two lesions. Okay. So with lesion, he has two different cards. Again, get that down where you guys can see it. Okay. We've got the normal lesion here. And then over here is the alternate format lesion. Okay. If you know anything, if you know it from here with the game, you know he's a trapper. He likes to throw out his devices that give poison darts to everybody. Okay. Learned my lesson on the first one. Cut it here. Okay. And then in here, of course we have the plastic bases. We have our attackers. That would be 
move things around so I can see things. Um, that's going to be Sophia. Get that so you guys can see it. Okay, we have Sophia. We have Ying here. Kneeling is going to be Jackal. Jackal's one with his device. He can see steps in the game. And then we have Dokubi. And then down here, first off, we have the alternative skin of Lesion. This one. There's my the normal lesion here. So you can play whichever skin you're using. You can have the right card to match. Okay, Ella. And then we have Vigil over here. So yeah, and I realize I'm kind of moving quickly through these. I'm trying to respect your guys' this time. And show you as much as we can in a little time. Uh, I think we're going to just do... Looking how quickly this is, we'll just do the first three years, years one, two, and three, and then we'll save four or five and the dual runner-ups for a different video, so we can do this over time. So that is year one and year two that we've done so far. We have year three, Lion, Finca, Maverick, Nomad, Maestro. Alibi, Clash, and Cade. Break into it. And again, we have the leaflet. We have stickers. We have cameras. Okay, that's probably going to be because... Uh, no, those aren't going to be cameras. You know, uh... uh that is. That is my Astro's camera. Okay. Uh, their entry points. Just the usual, same type of cardboard we had before. Okay. We have the cards. We have Maestro. We have Alibi. We have Clash. We have K. And we have the alternative Maestro. Kind of a a zombie good old west days okay on the other side here we have lion on attack finca maverick and nomad and as i get down into this last one break into it for you Okay, and again we have we have two cameras that Maestro can put out. We've got the rings, and then we get into the players here. So we've got this here would be Nomad. This is Maverick, Finca. And, of course, Lion at the end. And Fink and Lion come with what we call Seaburn or Hazmat suits because of their where they come from. Okay, now we have Maestro. Looks like his weapon is built. A little bit of hot water to be able to fix that. We have Alternative Maestro. Nice big Gatlin gun with that style hat. We have Cade. Clash with her nice electrified uh, shield there. And then our, this looks like Alibi. Okay. So, that gets us through all that. Um, hopefully you guys are still hanging in there. And that gives us... So far, we've done the base game, the box, this. We've done uh, all the auxiliary, the, the 3D furniture instead of the 
normal cardboard furniture. We've done years one, two, and three. One more video will probably wrap this all up. So, hope you guys are having a great day, and I will catch you later. Ciao.